Yo guys, hello and welcome to the next episode of my Hero Spotlight series for Fallout 84. And today we're gonna be reviewing Lucinda, the queen of shotguns. I'll be covering not just Lucinda and her abilities, but also the fact that she is, in my opinion, underrated. And I think the main reason why players are not picking Lucinda is because her passive is focusing on shotguns. Uh, it's increasing the ammo capacity and reload speed. But let's stop here for a moment because I think shotguns generally speaking are okay and they have been buffed. But I wouldn't recommend shotguns to be used as a primary weapon. I mean they can be used if you land in Carnival and if you don't find anything better then shotguns are okay. But, but it's just the fact that there are better weapons like the ARs, the Jupiters, the M4s and, and what not. They are all better than the shotguns. And I think this is one of the primary reasons why players just don't really pick Lucinda. Because one of the three skills gets wasted if you don't pick a shotgun. And that is actually true because you are really just wasting one of her abilities in case you're not going to use a shotgun and i don't recommend you to go with a shotgun even if you play lucinda you should be playing the double assault rifle or maybe assault rifle sniper combo as mentioned her passive gives you a bigger shotgun magazine so instead of six shots you're gonna have nine if i'm not mistaken and the reload time is decreased but the time between the shots when you're firing with your shotgun is the same as for every other hero. Everything I shared regarding her passive may sound a bit negative, but her tactical ability and the ultimate is somewhat compensating that. Her tactical ability, her portable incendiary bomb is really strong and it deals a decent amount of damage. And let me highlight that there was a recent update so previously if you threw that bomb and you had those flames it was causing self damage that's no longer the case you can run into your own fire and you're not going to get damage for example if you're in carnival or if in any other house you can just throw it on the floor while the enemy is around you can actually also use that as a nice escape skill because if you throw the bomb onto a staircase or into a corridor or something like where there is not much space for the enemy to come through then they are most likely not going one to go into the fire and get damaged so it's a nice escape skill if it's being used properly and now her ultimate the absolute gravity comes into play because if you are using those abilities together then that's massive if you have two enemies like standing near to each other you throw your ultimate the, the gravity then the core pulls them together and then if you throw the grenade or the bomb near to the center of that core you're gonna do massive damage also i need to mention that the ultimate can be nicely used along with other heroes so if you have someone on the team who has gas bomb for example dark side then if you throw the gravity bomb and if you are doing voice comms then along with the gravity bomb dark side could throw the gas bomb and then it's like massive amount of damage no escape for the enemies it needs a bit of a synergy between team players and most likely you're not gonna do that with randoms but if you are on voice comms talking to others then this is really really nice the downside is that the gravity core can be actually destroyed so if you have pro players on the enemy side and if they are aware of what you're planning then they're just gonna shoot at the center of your gravity core and it's going to be only up for a couple of seconds also i have realized that in some cases i'm having a hard time seeing the enemies if i'm using my absolute gravity ultimate because of the effects that black ish purple ish something hinders your visibility and sometimes i have no clue where the enemy is but other than that i think this ultimate is a very great skill so i think in overall lucinda is very strong stronger than many of you may think i have really enjoyed all the games i played with her and guys i'm planning to publish such a hero spotlight high level overview for each and every hero in the game let me know in the comment section if this is useful uh, if this has any value for you because then i'm going to be even more happier doing them and working on them if you haven't already then subscribe for even more Fallout 84 content i'm planning to do an ultimate hero guide in which i'm showcasing a bunch of stuff on the training ground like cooldowns 
weapons, how the leveling system has an impact on your abilities, how the cooldown is being decreased. I'm going to share numbers and all that stuff. So be prepared for a bunch of Fallout 84 stuff alongside with everything else I'm doing, like the new and upcoming. As always, thank you guys for watching. Happy gaming. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye.